G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I wanted to give you a quick run through on how to actually set up Microsoft Teams, how to get it on your computer, how to log in, and um, then probably in the next video I'll start showing you how to use it, or maybe I'll do it in this one too, we'll just see what happens. So if you have Teams on your computer, you will see the little icon down there, Microsoft Teams. You can just double click it to start it, and it'll start loading up. If you haven't had Microsoft Teams on your computer before, or you don't have it installed, you can go to portal.office.com. And then log in to your Office 365 account. I'm just using a test account at the moment. This is just a demo account. And you can say yes or no. Hopefully you have multi-factor authentication, which I don't have on, on my test account, on my real account I do. And then select Teams. This will open up in a new window and take you to the web interface of Microsoft Teams. From here, it may ask you to download Microsoft Teams. If it does not, you can also press this little button that's in the bottom left-hand corner. So you can see here, when you log in, it has asked me to download. If it doesn't, it will take you to the web app and you can click this button here, download the desktop app. That'll download the desktop app, select run. It'll then download and install on your computer. So we've already got it installed. So what we wanna do is we wanna log in. So to log in, you use your sign in address. This is typically your email address. In some cases, it might not be. It might be your user account, if your user account is different from your email address. But typically, your user account and your email address in Office 365 will be the same. Um, but yeah, sometimes they're not. So just type in your email address down there and hit next. This will then take you to your login page where you will need to type in your password. Oop, type password. Now I'm... Um, just using that. And then what should happen is it should load up Microsoft Teams for you. This may take a sec the first time. Here we go. And then one more step. Say yes to do it. So now it's going to hook up Microsoft Office to your Teams. Um, if you've already got Office 365 on your computer, usually Teams will just figure out who you are and you might not even have to type in. So here you can see it'll give you a bit of help. You can do some one-on-one -on -one chat and groups, connect through online meetings, put your files, notes and apps and all that in one place. And you can even watch a video on it if you want to. Uh, we're not going to do that actually. Let's go. So now you're in Teams. You can tell up in the top hand, right hand corner who you're logged in as. I can see I'm logged in as MOD Administrator. Doesn't actually tell me my email there. But yeah, so now you've got Teams going. 